Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 25 and in this tutorial we are gonna continue talking about some more pseudo classes because I didn't get to cover them all in the previous tutorial and if you guys are wondering why this text looks all big and bolded, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, um, but I actually I'm recording more of my screen so that the video will be available in 720p and what this means though is that uh, I had to actually zoom in on this text because otherwise by default it would be all the way back there I think actually over there and that actually looks kind of small you guys probably can't really see it so I zoomed in a little bit um, just to make it a little bit more clear if you guys are not watching full screen and you are actually uh, watching on the standard YouTube player. So uh, yeah, I just uh, I'm recording at a bigger screen and I just zoomed in. So if you guys are wondering uh, what's different, then that is what's different. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start talking about some of our pseudo classes. And uh, the first pseudo class that I want to talk to you guys about is the first child pseudo class. And uh, obviously because that is a child, we have to work with a parent uh, element as well. So let's go ahead and create a div. And this will act as our parent. And I'm actually going to give this div an ID of parent. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw in a few paragraphs inside of this div. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually duplicate that four times. And in the previous tutorial, I think we worked with uh, like YOLO. So you only live once and then that kind of went into YOLO. So we'll go ahead and just use this again. Uh, go ahead and save that now and again if I were to go ahead and run this in Firefox right now we just get four normal paragraphs so let's just uh, launch it quickly as you can see four normal uh, paragraphs but now let's go ahead and actually uh, style them or style the first child and uh, if you guys don't know what the first child is going to be it's going to be this first paragraph because this paragraph is a child of our parent div element so I'm gonna go ahead and select that div by ID so uh, parent and that's basically my parent now I have to tell uh, CSS what child I'm going to be looking for because I might have paragraph tags in here I might have um, some header tags in here or something like that so I just have to tell HTML which actual element I want to work with so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the paragraph and then we'll put in our colon over here and type in first child and that should give us access to just the first paragraph so we won't be styling all the paragraph tags inside of our parent element element just the first one so let's go ahead and give that a color of red and maybe text underline or actually text decoration sorry of underline text decoration underline uh, so now when I go ahead and save this and click refresh over here I get uh, our first paragraph appearing in red text and it's underlined okay then the next uh, pseudo class I wanted to mention to you guys was the last child so all we have to do is actually just change first child to last child and when I go over here and click refresh instead of the word you being red and underlined we'll get once so uh, how cool is that now instead of uh, our first child we've selected the last child okay so that's quite simple and now let's go ahead and actually take a look at two um, different pseudo classes 
and that is the before and after. So before, and um, I'm going to go ahead and select the same thing. So parent p uh, after, and we'll do something here as well. Okay, now uh, this by itself isn't actually going to grab any of these uh, paragraphs. So uh, let me go back here. Oops, back there, I mean. Okay, uh, when we're selecting the before and after class, we're not actually selecting any of these elements. We're actually selecting just before this tag. So um, parent p before would mean uh, this little space before the paragraph of our actual um, paragraph but as long as it's inside of our div parent and it's going to select pretty much the space between all of these paragraphs before and then the second uh, parent p after uh, that will select the space after all of these paragraphs and something we can do over here is go ahead and just add in a bit of content using this uh, content property. Okay, so uh, basically if I type something in between these two quotation marks, it's actually going to appear as plain text uh, in that space, like I said. So let's go ahead and type in maybe just I am before and uh, if I go ahead and save this now and go back here and click refresh you can see it says I am before in front of our actual paragraph and uh, it actually kinda looks weird because it says I am before you I am before only hmm I didn't actually think about that but yeah okay that's pretty cool so we can actually use CSS to add some content before our paragraph You'll notice I can't actually select it, even though I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's like just like some plain kind of text stuff. Uh, again, I could go ahead and do this using the after class. So let's cut that out and paste that in here, over here. And instead of this content appearing um, before our paragraphs, we'll actually have it appear afterwards. So um, it should have actually said I am after but yeah okay so we've got the text appearing after our actual paragraph and uh, you can use this for a lot of different things I mean I haven't showed you everything that uh, we could do with this uh, like the content probably is probably the most uh, useless uh, thing of all but we could use it to clear floating divs and that kind of thing although I haven't actually spoken to you guys about floating divs yet so you probably don't know what I'm talking about but uh, that's actually all I have for you guys in this video so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time